Further RBA interest rate hikes are less likely now than even a week ago. Here's why. Since Australia's Reserve Bank hiked interest rates two weeks ago, there have been two important developments, one in the United States and the other in the United Kingdom. If it's not clear to you why events overseas influence Australia's interest rates, which are meant to be set to control Australian inflation, read on. US and UK inflation close to zero. Putin discusses stopping tragedy of Ukraine war. Russian President Vladimir Putin said in front of leaders at the Group of 20, G20, summit on Wednesday that the war in Ukraine is a tragedy, adding that it was important to think about a way to bring the conflict to an end. Putin's statement at Wednesday's virtual meeting was the first time that the Kremlin leader has addressed the G20 leaders since launching his invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Both Moscow and Kyiv have suffered heavy losses in the 21-month-long war as Ukraine continues to press on to recapture large swaths of territory still occupied by Russia. China races to end property panic, fill $446 billion funding gap. Chinese leaders are making their most forceful push yet to end the nation's property crisis, ramping up pressure on banks to plug an estimated $446 billion shortfall in funding needed to stabilize the industry and deliver millions of unfinished apartments. Policymakers are finalizing a draft list of 50 developers eligible for financial support that includes Country Garden Holdings Company and Sino Ocean Group and indicated a pivot by Beijing to help some of the most distressed builders. Euro to US dollar clings to mild losses below 1.0900 ahead of the Eurozone PMI data. Euro to US dollar loses ground near 1.0888, gaining 0.01% on Thursday. ECB policymakers said the central bank is data dependent, and economic data would decide if more tightening is appropriate. The Eurozone preliminary COB PMI data for November will be in the spotlight. The euro to US dollar pair sticks to mild losses during the early Asian session on Thursday. Investors will closely watch the Eurozone PMI data due later on Thursday. Thank you.